Also in Module 2, Lesson 5, we have discussed inverse normal probability distributions, and we've taken a look at how to use the TI-8384 calculator to solve um, problems involving the inverse normal. But in case you don't have access to um, a TI-8384 calculator, there is a free website that I found that you can use to help you solve these problems. And I'm going to use practice problems 9 and 10 as examples for you to show you how to use the website. Um, here is the link to the free website. You can simply copy and paste it into your browser and it'll take you to that particular website. The website's fairly straightforward to use. Again, you have to enter the requested information. You have to enter the area. And again, I would tell you to enter the area to the left of the cutoff score for consistency with the process we learned related to the calculator. That way you don't have to learn a whole new procedure um, if you're going to use the website. You have to enter the mean of the distribution, which should be given in the problem, and you have to enter the standard deviation, which again is represented by the letters S and D, and is also given in the problem. Again, for consistency and similarity to the calculator, I want you to choose below, and then we click on the widget Recalculate and the results will appear in the box next to the word below. So let's take a look at some examples so you can see how to do this. So here's our scenario. The length of time it takes to find a parking space at 9 a.m. follows a normal distribution with a mean of 6 minutes and a standard deviation of 2 minutes. 30% of the time it takes how long to find a parking space and then round your answer to one decimal place. Okay, so here again in this problem, notice that it does tell us that we have a normal distribution, which we must know. It also tells us that we have a mean of six minutes, something else we have to know, and that the standard deviation is two minutes. Again, we have to know those three things in order to work the problem. The other piece here is it says 30% of the time. Okay, so that gives us a sense or an idea of the area. And again, I think it'll help you if you'll try to draw yourself a picture so you can get a sense of what's going on. So we have our horizontal axis, our bell-shaped curve, the mean, is in the middle, which is 6. And remember, the mean divides the data so that you have 50% below and 50% above. So I'm interested in 30%, which is less than 50%, by the way. So the cutoff score is going to be here somewhere on the left so that I have 30% of the data below that cutoff score. Now 30% written as a decimal is 0 0.30. Okay, so we want to find this cutoff score. So I'm going to go out to my calculator or to the website. I enter the area to the left which is the 30%, my mean is 6, my standard deviation is 2, and I want below. And then I click Recalculate, and it gives me the answer as 4.952. Okay, so my cutoff score is 4, whoops, 4.952, and we want to round that to one decimal place. So now be careful, guys, because what you got going on here is you have the 5, which is going to bump the 9, and the 9 is going to bump the 4. 
So ultimately, this is approximately 5. So it takes approximately 5 minutes um, to find a parking space 30% of the time. All right, let's look at another one. Same scenario. Again, we know that it is a normal distribution. We know the mean is 6 minutes. We know the standard deviation is 2 minutes. Now, if you read the question, it says 60% of the time it takes more than. Okay, so be careful. Watch the wording. That's important. So let's see if we can draw ourselves a picture here of what's going on. Okay, so you have your bell-shaped curve. Your mean is in the middle, which is 6. And it says 60% of the time it takes more than. So 60%, my cutoff's going to be here because it says 60% of the time it takes more than how long? So the 60% is really above the cutoff line. But we want the area below or the percentage below the cutoff. And so we know it totals 100. So the region or the area to the left here would be 40%. That's 100 percent minus the 60 percent that's to the right. That's how we get 40. Okay, and so in the website we would have to enter the 40 percent because we want the area below or the area to the left. So I'm going out to the website. I enter my area which is the 40 percent. My mean is 6, standard deviation is 2, and again we're doing below. So I recalculate and it gives me an answer of 5.494. Okay, so my answer is 5.494. So when you round that to one decimal, it's 5.5. .5. So it takes approximately five and a half minutes um, or more than five and a half minutes to find um, a parking space 60% of the time. So that's a demonstration of how to use the free website for the inverse normal probability distribution problems. I hope you find it helpful. Um, let me know if you have any questions.